Hello there guys, it's Steven here, back with another wonderful little video, if I don't say so myself. After the Girona game, we're back into the real world of actual football, not an actual waste of time. There's been some transfer news, there'll be a preview uh, this coming Sunday or Saturday about the Everton game, but for now we're going to discuss transfers and some very weird, very strange news, if we're being honest. But before I get on to Johnny Evans, the wonderful world of Johnny Evans, uh, as you've noticed, I'm being sponsored by wherever the video is, the phone is, uh, One Football, the wonderful people at one football sponsoring me throughout August and every single time one of you click the link in the description he supports this channel so go and download and what in my opinion is actually a very good app it keeps you up to date when you sat at work really bored or whatever in lessons you obviously should be looking at your phone in lessons but when you sat there and you're bored you get a little bit of transfer news a little bit of gossip a little bit of interesting stuff but anyway go and check it out in the description and get downloading that app but let's go on to the transfer target it isn't the biggest one today but I wanted to discuss the Johnny Evans rumors now it it feels too real this it feels too strange not to have some semblance of truth attached to it i'm not a fan i'll be totally honest johnny evans is a good player he's a decent little player yes he's a capable solid center back but for me he is not what we should be aiming for now i understand a lot of people will say he's fourth choice he's homegrown but that is irrelevant. The homegrown stuff, we don't need to get a homegrown player. So that stuff kind of renders it redundant. But yes, they would say he's got a lot of experience to be fourth choice. He won't be the regular. And he's okay. I would count on that personally by saying he's only about 18 million. That's uh, so a lot of money. And also, I would rather that we just aim for a player that other clubs would want. You know, with all due respect to Johnny Evans, would Bayern, Barca, maybe Barca at the moment, Bayern, Barca, Real Madrid beat down the doors to sign him? No, we've gone from Benucci as a target and Virgil van Dijk, one of the most exciting young centre-backs in world football, to a man who's basically passed his best and probably thinking, well, oh, this is not a bad day for me. He is only 29, but it doesn't make me feel comfortable. I think we should be aiming higher for this. I think we should be aiming for players... Uh, that will be here in three or four years. I can already see how this is going to unfold. The same way that all these squad players unfold. We sign them for 20 million. We, they don't play much. Then we can't shift them. Then we loan them out for two years. And eventually release them on a fee. Or subsidise their wages forever. It's another Fernando for me potentially. Another Delph. Another Rodwell. Another Delito situation. I am bored of these stopgap signings. I want us to actually invest in the future. And actually uh, commit to someone who could actually be around. In four years from now, Johnny Evans to me, he's a good footballer, he's a decent one, but he isn't the level we should be aiming for. I want all the signings from now on. Now we've got a young squad to either be world class at the high end of the game, like a Sanchez in terms of world class, or a wonder kid who could be there one day, not just an average squad player. For me, the squad player role should be filled with young lads, but or we should just have quality, real quality, or young lads. And to me, Johnny Evans isn't real quality. But what do you make of it? To me, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, I won't cause a fuss. I won't kick up a scene. But it's uninspiring. And it's not uninspiring that, uh, uh, in a way that some other transfers can be. I mean, I wasn't incredibly excited with Kyle Walker, but I appreciate he was one of the best right-backs in the league. Johnny Evans isn't like this ridiculously good centre-back that will obviously improve us. I... I don't want that personally. I mean, this is just my opinion. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments what you make of it. But if he comes, I'll support him. But I don't know. We can do better than that, surely. On to a couple of hours. Brandon Barker uh, has gone on loan to Hibernian. It's been a weird couple of years for Brandon Barker. Uh, many people probably think, well, he was obviously never very good. I'm kind of slightly bored of that kind of uh, reinvention of one's ability. Yes, he hasn't probably fulfilled the hype that I've surrounded him, but at one point he was just as exciting as Sancho, in my opinion, for the under 90s, doing absolutely wonderful things, scoring a whole host of goals, starring for England at youth level, and looking like a potentially huge prospect. Now, for me, the problem came about a year and a half ago uh, under Pellegrini, two years ago, when he was sat on the bench for about 10 games in a row and didn't get his debut. He stalled hugely last, 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 that season. He lost all impetus, all drive, and just kind of ambled out in various loans to Rotherham, to NEC Braid. And after that, he's kind of plateaued and kind of disappeared off the radar. I'm hoping that he goes to Hibernian and gets the games that he needs, gets regular football, and it kind of ignites that spark again. What people don't tend to realise with youth football is that they need these constant challenges. They need to strike while the iron's hot. If a player's looking promising, you need to test them further and use them to give them momentum. Some players can lose that drive unintentionally by rotting away in, in the reserve, so to speak. And I feel like that's what's happened for Brandon. Maybe it was never meant to be, but I do wish that we give the opportunities earlier 
I'm not waiting until it's too late. Hopefully, he'll make the, move, uh, the most of the move out there. He has all the ability to actually go and do that. And another one who could be leaving is Zinchenko. And Napoli want him with a loan with a, a right to buy thing. Um, I don't really want that. I think Zinchenko is the kind of player that can actually star for Napoli. He's a very good player, very tidy, but obviously not part of the first team plans this season. I can see him as the kind of person who goes from like that. And eventually, three years from now, be, they'll be wanting... I don't know, the same thing they wanted for Hamzik two years ago. They'd be wanting like 50, 60 million pounds for him. I want him to stay at City. I want him to go on loan to Napoli, a great club there. We've already got great experience there. But I don't want us to sell him because I think that'd be a very, very bad move. But let me know what you think of Barker and uh, Zinchenko and Evans in the comments below. It's just a quick video, Blues, about all the transfers. There'll be a preview, as I was saying, uh, on Sunday or Saturday about the Everton game. Let me know what you think the team will be for that one as well. And if you haven't already, click subscribe, drop a like on the video, go and download that one football app, and I will see you next time.